yeah, after you've you done that, uh, go back to miscellaneous data 70, hold down the, the arrow key, and you'll find the smaller versions of, the, of their names. Right, click, replace the icons. Do the same thing we, you, you, you did with the, uh, with the, with the other name. In paint, that's just uh, make it small, like a lot smaller. After you like, when you export it, and then you open it in paint, and then you put the new name over it. And since, the, and if the name isn't like as big as the icon's name, like like it doesn't require two spaces like that, like that, then it, like export like links or something, export link or Samus, a name that only requires one line of line and not like a not like two lines or three lines for like if like depending on how long the name is. I mean, there's Keen DDD. I'm sure you can um just take that or one of these and make it so the the, 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 the person's name can fit. Anyway, now we have Shadow's name on the picture for the small picture. We have the small picture take we have the small picture replaced, the small um name replaced and the big name replaced. Now we go to char bus text char bucks text I don't know whatever that thing that says char in it. Open that up and uh, we go to miscellaneous data one, which has Donicon. Donicon's character selection portrait pictures. Now um, you'll know you'll recognize these from whenever you you choose a character and you know your selecting what color you want. Um, and each of these miscellaneous data is inside here. These are all, di all different characters and like the order that they've decided to put them in. There's Link, Donkey Kong, Mario. It's Donkey Kong second. And uh, what we want to do is right click, replace, and if you want, and like the same thing with, with that with that other picture, you would take it out if, if you're not doing shadow if, or if you can't find a picture yourself. You would take it out, and then you would put it in GIMP, and, um, actually, let, let, let me show you, like, this, one, this one's a little bit specific. So let me, like, uh, export it. Open with GIMP. Just so I can make sure you guys got this right. Okay. Because there's a little, you see this, uh, these checkered things behind them. That means that the background is transparent. That means that whatever is behind him, um, there's a, that means there's nothing behind that picture. Anything can be behind him. So that uh, so that like the background that's in the stage, so, so that he won't have like a a background around him. He'll just have he'll just blend in with it. Anyway. Um, so let's go back to my pictures and find another picture. Let's just use this bit random picture. Um, I have I have an Envy's model from a um, what is it? It's called um, from my alchemist. Yeah, I'm like it's not called Edward Elric. It's called from alchemist. We copy that after we select it, we paste it. Where's the scale tool? There it is. Scale it again. Move it over here. Scale it a little more so it's fits it it has to really it has to fit the uh box. Pretty much precisely <laughs> fit it, and then um, use our magic wand or fuzzy select tool for some reason. It's called the fuzzy select tool, but I like to call it the magic wand because that's what Photoshop calls it. Oops. Um, and for a picture like this, it it you me you must you better get a better one, like one that doesn't have so many different things in the background for you to have to delete and the reason it's doing that is because this is black and this is black and they're like connected colors and so I can't 
just select that part of the black. So it's kind of hard, and um, you might have to just uh, I don't know use the eraser tool a little bit, and then um, take this tool. And I no, not that. No, I don't want that. Um, Oh, I see. Okay. Now this tool is awesome. Do 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 do. do, do. What you want to do though, if you're doing this, um, because I'm not gonna sit here and do this staring <laughs> and like clip out the background. That would take forever. <coughs> Just take the lasso tool or free select tool and um, zoom in and uh, you know carefully go around his face and um you know just draw a around his uh, on the background just select the whole background b behind him and then delete uh, keep deleting the background and you'll eventually um get it to where it's just him but um hold down control to zoom out with that thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it with that. Um, so we go to shadows um, char bust folder. Oh, and they put it in a BRERS -E format. So we right click here. place let's see if the shell of the old icon has it yeah it does have it okay so just select that miscellaneous data one BRS right click that the miscellaneous data replace it we'll find this in the icon over shadow open and bam there's shadows um, portrait pictures then you save and then you put it once again. Go to your SD card. Go to you know private we app RSBPF system, and then save common five underscore en dot pac in here. And if you're using Gecko OS, take the underscore dot underscore en, type that out. You know, put that uh, put that go, make that go away. Like um, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So you go to that folder, you save it. It takes a little bit, and then you see it. And then if you're at Gecko OS, if you if you evolution, don't do anything. Just just like leave it there and go evolution. But if you're at Gecko OS, Gecko OS, take this delete now it works in Gecko OS okay so now you're wondering how do I get it to look um to show up in the battle like at, at the bottom of the screen in the battle game thing well I think he might have provided that for you let me go find, let me go check Yep. Okay, so w w battle stuff. It go to the PF info folder of uh, the Shadow of a Donicon hack and see all these in the face things. Those are the battle portraits whenever you're in battle. And go to your info folder, not info to, info folder, info, portrait. Make a folder in the info folder called Portrait. It's but you gotta spell it like this: P O R T R I T E. And then you go to that folder, paste in these. Oops. <laughs> if you open them with Brawl Box, not hex editor. I don't know why. 
you'll see that there are smaller per smaller, smaller pictures of uh, his other his regular portrait and those are actually for when he wins like when like when he like on the winning on the results screen that's actually for the results screen so let's go find the uh, actual battle ones battle ones 